end of the first week of the year for 2024. No problems at all being seen. We do have some changes coming our way. Uh, more on that potential coming up in just a little bit. Again, thanks to everybody for tuning in on Twitch TV and for following along. Do appreciate the uh, follows out there. I realize this is not exactly uh, anything the way of what may be considered too exciting for folks. Again, a lot of stuff on Twitch being uh, video games, chess, cooking, singing, whatever you got on there. And this is about our little corner of things in southeast Tennessee, northwest Georgia, the western Carolinas, and back into and around the area of uh, southeast Tennessee, northeastern Alabama. So, again, for right now, decently quiet uh, for the area. Welcome to everybody for tuning in for weather overtime. It looks like we are go for tonight. Audio sounding good on Facebook, so we'll put that aside. Okay, I think I can stop talking on two channels there. All right, so for tonight, uh, if you've never tuned in here before, brand new year, maybe you're just getting online, new computer system, things like that. This is our exclusive video weather blog. It's just a way to talk about what's going on with the weather in this part of the country and give you an idea. If you live here, great. If you don't, uh, this will be your opportunity to take a look and see it what goes on into and around the area that we're looking at here. Uh, what's left of the chances of rain pretty much gone. There's little of anything showing up at this time uh, back over to our south and to our east. We do still have a decent amount of clouds out across the area. Those will be leaving the drier air coming our direction. Again, this is the News 12 viewing area for anybody tuning in from way out of town. We are in the eastern time zone. Uh, based in downtown Chattanooga. I'm the chief meteorologist for News 12 WDEF in the Chattanooga market. We see remnants of showers drifting on through and some of that turning into the blue colors showing the rain mixed with snow in the higher elevations. That is where we may see some possible slick problems into later on tonight, but it looks like we're pretty much done with most of the rainfall for this evening because we just did not get that much storm system passing over florida this is what has given us the potential of that rain and for right now there's just really not that much left of it some areas of clouds left over but much of what we're seeing in the way of clearing skies coming up here that's the line we're looking at right there moving across the area for that drier air coming on through we also have a cold front sitting well back up to our north that is going to be giving us the potential for uh, some more chilly weather into tomorrow. I don't think we're looking at an Arctic blast, but what I do think we are going to be seeing is temperatures, once again, going to be decently below normal for this time of the year. So we just don't really have a lot out there when it comes to a lot of major problems. We do have some changes taking place, though. More on that in just a little bit. There's our area of low pressure, again, from the Gulf, now making its way over toward the western Atlantic. We had... It's falling apart right now. That brown line that you see stretched out, that's an area of low pressure, elongated. It's called a trough. It's a weak, low uh, cold front, pretty much, and there's barely anything left of this for right now. Our next front is up around Lake Michigan, but by tomorrow morning, that will be heading our direction, and that will be giving us the potential of some changes coming up for tomorrow's temperatures. Then, as we look out toward the west, our next storm system is getting organized across portions of the Four Corners area, and this is what is going to be giving us our next chance of some rain. As this crosses the country in the next couple of days, it's going to tap into moisture from off the Gulf, and that will give us the potential of some more changes taking place with the next storm system coming on through. Here's what it looks like again for tonight. Again, numbers not doing too bad back into about the uh, lower to mid 30s, possibility of seeing some upper 20s tomorrow, and that front may stir off a possible amount of flurries north and east of Knoxville, but I really don't see much of anything going on there. For the rest of the afternoon, numbers again will be uh, about as warm as they could be with that front coming on through. We'll be back into the mid-40s, possibly even warmer than that if we get enough sunshine. And it looks like we will get some clearer skies into tomorrow. Heading into and around the rest of the forecast toward early parts of Friday morning. Not that much showing up right now. 
outside of just that cloud cover that we're going to be getting uh, very early on. And temperatures with those clearer skies could make their way down into about the mid to upper 20s before we get that cloud cover to move in. High pressure will keep things very mild uh, and dry and quiet, so not much going on here. High temperatures for early on Friday afternoon, a little bit warmer. I think we might make the mid to upper 40s, so that's some good news taking place. Uh, going into late Friday, early Saturday, this is our next approaching storm system. And ahead of this system, let me go back to about midnight uh, Saturday morning. That's where we see the best possibility of showers coming up. Just looks like showers, but notice that color change right there to where we see around the Carolinas, north central Georgia, southeast Tennessee. There could be just enough moisture being pushed up slope to get colder and fall and stick in some of the higher elevations. So that is where we're going to be seeing the possibility of some problems coming up uh, as we go into the semi near future of Saturday morning. Then that system begins to clear on out of the picture as we go through the rest of Saturday. I think early Saturday is going to be sloppy and not that great. Uh, colder, maybe breezy for the rest of Saturday and some leftover showers possible as that storm system kicks on out of here. But we may see temperatures in the mid to upper 40s as that storm system passes by Saturday afternoon. Saturday night, Sunday morning, we have another cold front about ready to move on through, and that will, again, be giving us the potential uh, for some clouds and maybe some leftover showers, especially in the higher elevations. Much of what we're looking at right now is going to be very much on the quiet side, but notice there is still some of that moisture right ahead of that front to where we could see some potential raindrops out across portions of the area. And then toward about lunchtime on Sunday should be a little warmer and we should be getting back to the sunshine later on. But I still think that it looks pretty sloppy for a good half of the weekend. So that could be a bit of a problem. Now tomorrow morning, I think if the computer will let me get into this point right here, uh, rain could stick around through this evening, but most of what we're seeing overnight uh, this is where some of that leftover moisture, if it continues to fall, might give us the potential of some slick spots into around north central Georgia and parts of the Carolinas. But by then, I think most of that moisture will have kicked on out of here. So it does not seem to be a major concern. But there could be some higher elevations, North Carolina, uh, western South Carolina, and back into northern Georgia. Tomorrow morning, you definitely want to stay tuned to News 12. Chip Chapman will have more on your forecast, and we'll have more details on what's going on with driving conditions. So that is going to be the best potential there. Now, let's get into the long range. That, again, is the first round of snow that we have coming up that we just talked about for the roads tomorrow morning. So we don't see much of anything left over here uh, that's going to be causing a problem through Thursday. There might be some problems, again, very early Where's my timeline? Early tomorrow morning, that is where we could see some slick spots out there. Then the next system comes in as we go into Friday, kicking up that moisture here. Most of that in the way of snow showers looks like it's going to be in exactly the same area. Higher elevations west and east of Chattanooga. River Valley doesn't look like too much of anything at this time. And then going forward a little bit more, and keep in mind, once again, the longer you go with snow chances on forecast models, the more unpredictable things become. There's a lot of places out there on the Internet that are going to be screaming at you, 300 hours from now, there's a possibility of 18 inches of snow coming our way. A lot of clickbaitiness there that I don't even want to go into time frame of unpacking. But basically what I'm getting at is if you've got somebody who's saying, two and a half weeks from now, 168 hours from now, we're going to be buried by snow. More than likely, 99.9% .9 times out of 100, it's a good possibility that is not going to happen. This is why it pays to take, pay attention to the forecast to make certain that you know what's coming up so that you don't get taken in by those types of screamy, clickbaity headlines that are called wish casters. Uh, it's great for getting eyeballs and conversation on the page stirred up. It is not great for accuracy or for 
that meant our truth in forecasting all the way on through to say that this is what is going to happen 168, 300 hours from now. What I'm going to show you again, going a little farther on, there is the potential, the potential, mind, of seeing a decent amount coming up as we go into the beginning portion of next week, around Tuesday and Wednesday. If it gets cold enough, we might see the potential of some snow showers taking place again, primarily in the higher areas. River Valley doesn't see all that much going on, so it's really going to depend on the temperatures, where they stand. What we are not going to see is what we're expecting way on up to our north and west. Wichita, Kansas to Chicago, Illinois, uh, St. Louis, Columbia, Kansas City, Topeka, Kansas. Going to have to call my mom and make sure that she's got enough groceries to hold uh, through this. But next week, this storm system giving us the potential of some amounts of precipitation frozen is going to be a lot worse back this direction. So something to think about. But again, take this forecast with a ginormous grain of salt because it may not even come close to this because the changes will take place as we get closer and closer. We may not see hardly this much in the way of snow. We might see a lot of this up this direction, but it might be closer to us. It might dissipate. A lot of things could change in between here and there. If you've never tried winter weather, forecasting may i wholeheartedly recommend you give it a try because if there is anything on in this world that is as ego busting as winter weather forecasting you haven't tried it yet so a lot of things can go on so the basic bottom line is what i'm saying is keep it tuned to news 12 we'll keep you updated on the potential of what this thing is showing but for right now i really think that we're not going to get hardly anything at all where we are but there is that higher potential even if it's just around an inch or so in parts of the higher elevations here, that is what we're going to need to watch out for. Rain, the main thing we're looking at right now will be the possibility of scattered showers as the system comes on through. And some of those could be on the decently heavy side. So that is what we're really uh, going to be watching out for there. Downtown Chattanooga, looking back towards Signal Mountain and up toward the North Shore neighborhood, Temperatures remain pretty stable. We're back in the lower 40s at this point. We should be dropping off again into overnight as when those clouds go away. When the clouds leave, that lets the heat of the day, what there was of it, just radiate away. So we should be looking at the potential of some uh, very quiet conditions out there and some very chilly numbers as well. Again, if you're going to try to get out and take a look, the Quadranted Meteor Shower, one of the first and biggest meteor showers of the year, is peaking tonight. Already has peaked technically, but if you would like to get out and take a look, it will be partly cloudy in the next few hours and then clearing out. And at the peak, at the zenith of the sky, overnight from last night into tonight, you could pick up about 60 to 120 meteors per hour. You might be lucky enough, especially in the next few nights, to catch some stray leftover meteors as the Earth leaves that cometary stream and gives us the potential of less meteors in the next few days. So uh, look toward the handle of the Big Dipper between that and the constellation of Hercules and north on one of the circumpolar constellations of Draco the Dragon. That looking basically north will be your best bet to see any of those quadrantids. Uh, flying out of that particular area of the sky. Let's take a look. Let me just change one camera setting here so we can get everybody uh, moved in so we can take a look and see. Uh, the clouds are starting to clear up by just a little bit, so we are getting the breaks in the sky looking back toward the Island Cove Marina and Resort camera. Water on the marina area is like glass. There's no wind out there whatsoever, so we're just not seeing... Uh, anything right now in the way of a breeze, which is good because we don't need the wind chill at this point. Here's the way it looks. Going into the weekend, again, I will see the possibility of more rain than anything else. Uh, we do see that potential of getting uh, more rain, kind of breezy conditions, but temperatures will be rather on the mild side this weekend, mid to upper 40s. Looks like the first part of the day, great t area of time to make certain that you are indoors if you have those plans and don't have to travel. That looks good. Sunday looks a little warmer with more sunshine coming on through. And then Tuesday into Wednesday, 
I think lower portions of the Tennessee River Valley, anything along the Tennessee River, the Hawassi, and every place else around here that's below those higher elevations, that is where we may see the potential of some snow showers coming up. And some of that might stick. We'll see what happens as that system gets geared up to move on through here. But I really don't think we're looking at too much in the way of winter weather, especially with temperatures like this. That is going to be way too warm for anything but plain rainfall. Maybe as the system peels out, it might be cold enough to get some snowflakes added in with the moisture. But beyond that, I really don't see much of anything uh, happening anytime soon. So definitely, again, some good news on that. But a lot of changes taking place. So keep it tuned to News 12 uh, for more information uh, on that. We touched on this yesterday. If you're in Chattanooga or Hamilton County, Stay tuned. Uh, we'll be having updates for all the other counties in the viewing area that have a Skywarn training session coming up. National Weather Service would like you to become a volunteer Skywarn spotter. And the next one for Chattanooga and Hamilton County will be coming up Friday, February 9th at 6 p.m. at CHI Memorial Hospital. These meetings last about an hour, hour and a half. They teach you what you need to know when it comes to severe weather, what to look for beforehand, what to report back to the National Weather Service, especially damage reports afterwards, uh, making certain you stay safe. That is priority numero uno on that. So definitely not a, ch this, this is not a chaser course. Uh, and of course, I'm gonna have people who email me or post messages and say, duh, that's why the name Spotter is in the course. But to make certain this is not how you go out and chase storms. That takes a lot more practice and a lot more safety. So this is a good way to begin to become a spotter and a chaser if you would like to do that by noting safety and getting a lot of common details regarding severe weather and what may be coming our way and how to protect yourself against it first, how to read a radar, how to read the uh, storm characteristics, where to make certain that you're positioned so you're safe as a storm comes on through. More importantly, telling the National Weather Service this storm is in this location, moving this way toward this direction. This is what I'm seeing right now. That's the information the National Weather Service can use to keep people safe. So if you're in Hamilton County and Chattanooga, register for a seat. It's totally free. Your tax dollars, my tax dollars pay for everything. And all you have to do is register at weather.gov slash MRX. That's the National Weather Service in Morristown. Reserve yourself a seat. No, it's not a secret government labeling clandestine program. It's to make certain we have enough seats at the hospital so everybody can come and join. Or if the National Weather Service needs to split it up into two or three plus meetings because there's that many people that want to join, that's why we need to know who's coming. So register for a seat at weather.gov slash MRX. Now, if you can't make it to this or any other meeting, the University Council of Atmospheric Research or UCAR, U-C-A-R, offers an online travel free uh, take the class in your own home on your computer through their met ed or meteorological education programming if you can take the course online at meted.ucar.edu that will be your best bet to take the course so that it's avail readily available to you at any point in time also it is free also it requires legislation also, it's a great course. I have taken it myself just to show that I can do it and just to make certain that I can recommend it to everybody. So it's a great opportunity. Then they recommend that you take the course in person and also register with the National Weather Service so they can call you if there's severe weather in your area. You become the eyes and ears of the National Weather Service. So if you can't do it in person, then you can do it online. And here's a great way to do it. If you'd like to know more about this, head to my social media pages uh, for more information on that. Would love to be able to see what you're seeing. Follow along on Facebook, X, or Instagram, and you'll be able to catch up with more about what is going on out there. Almanac page, again, it was well below normal today. Record high of 75, last setback in 2000, and a record low that hasn't been broken since 1887. No precipitation officially today, so we're behind automatically for the month and the year by half an inch. And remember, we finished up last year 
at at least an 8 inch deficit so good possibility we're going to be seeing some dry conditions for a while frosty tomorrow should be clearing out a few clouds and sunshine on the greater chattanooga orthodontics bus stop forecast for thursday and through the rest of tomorrow that cold front is going to help keep the temperatures down so on your outdoors forecast few clouds mainly sunshine dry and chilly but it is still going to be rather uh, uh kind of sharp out there so definitely will make certain you are paying attention to that before you head out the door thanking our viewer stanley thacker from uh, the area taking a sunset picture on lake chickamauga thank you very much for a very colorful view that is our brand new sponsor thank you for joining us on this langley roofing uh, thank you very much for becoming our new sponsor thank you west shore home for becoming our sponsor for the last uh, year and a half since i've been here but langley roofing brand new uh, sponsor for the weather the weather picture of the day the weather window picture of the day if you've got pictures send them on to us at pictures at wdef.com or drop them again to our social media pages uh, for facebook x and instagram for news 12 different handles than when i have but You'll find us out there at various other locations. So definitely want to tune in and see what's going on there. I think that's going to do it for now. We've been going for about 20 minutes. Uh, we do see, again, the potential. Well, one more thing. Uh, the uh, If you've got a telescope for the holidays, this is going to be coming up in a couple of weeks. But want to make certain everybody is aware of this because this is a really cool thing. Uh, this was done back in Memphis at the Memphis Astronomical Society, the Barnard Astronomical Society holds a yearly how to use your new telescope workshop and that is coming up saturday january 20th 3 p.m to 6 p.m at outdoor chattanooga at the philip grimes center 200 river street in chattanooga again that's january 20th saturday bring your telescope and your instruction manual with you and they will help you organize things they'll teach you how to use it how to take care of it it's a really great opportunity to learn about science a great opportunity to get your kids involved in science but if it sits in the closet it's not doing anybody any good to take a look and see what's going on around you so get your telescope with you come down ask questions have the experts there the astronomers who've been working on this for years and decades they can tell you more about what to look for and how to use this marvelous invention to gaze at the, at the heavens. So this is an opportunity, again, to learn more and more details at barnardastronomy.org if you'd like to pick up more details on that. Okay, I think that is it for tonight. Yes, okay, that should do it. And we'll go ahead and sign off for now. Again, questions, concerns, email address aonic at wdef.com. Uh, if you'd like to see anything else, the repeats of all this and on our YouTube channel, go to wdef.com slash weather, and more of your forecast information will be available there. Chip Chapman will have your forecast bright and early on Thursday morning starting at 5 a.m. Eastern, so stay tuned for that. And again, thanks to all the new followers on Twitch. Glad to have you along. Uh, nice to see everybody on Facebook as well, so thanks a lot for stopping by and keeping an eye on things. Uh, live and direct, at least for Wednesday night, I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik from downtown Chattanooga at the WDEF News 12 studios. We'll have an updated forecast for you online, as again, at WDEF.com slash weather. Let's hope everybody has a great evening, morning, and the rest of the week. Stay tuned. Let's be careful out there and keep it tuned to News 12 on air and online for more weather information.